Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Changing it up a little bit. This morning, I'll be talking about Guerlain Sam Serra Eau de Parfum Vintage. It was originally released in 1989. The nose behind it is Jean Paul Guerlain, and it's classified as an Oriental Woody. I'm reviewing this one because it's it's really a, a fantastic woman scent, and it's been stated this is really a a reference scent for my source sandalwood. When I first spray it on, I definitely get bug spray. Unfortunately, it's very similar to to off bug spray. It's it's very scratchy. And you could say it's citrus and, and bergamot and lemon, but for me it smells very bug spray-like. And this is not an uncommon thing for vintage perfumes. It really wasn't about the opening, but it was about the dry down. After about a half an hour, I begin to pick up on a yellow flower, and that's the Liang Liang. It's a very classic note. It's, it's seen in men's fragrances and women's perfumes. That's paired with a big heaping dose of jasmine. And the Liang Liang and the jasmine really play teeter-totter for a while. And there's a definite softness and, and powderiness to this. And that's what I can attribute uh, to Iris. So it's Iris, Liang Liang, and jasmine that all kind of mingle together and and really dance for about two hours within about two to three hours I begin to pick up on a very soft buttery smooth wood and that's the Mysore sandalwood it takes a long time to get there but the Mysore sandalwood is definitely worth the wait it's unlike any other sandalwood you'll smell in, in modern perfumery. My source sandalwood is not extinct, but it's under very heavy restrictions, so it's very cost prohibitive for perfumers to, to put that particular ingredient in their their formulation. So there's substitutes, but really nothing comes close to the complexity of, of that that buttery, smooth, creamy woody sweet ingredient there is a bit of tonka here and there is some vanilla so there there's some sweetness to go with that wood and and really everything comes together perfectly i think any woman could wear this i think if you're you're over the age of 21 you could definitely pull this off i personally like smelling it on my mother quite a bit this is this is from her collection, and I, I think it's a really fantastic scent. I, I feel like it's timeless, but I, I couldn't picture someone college age or younger wearing this. It's definitely uh, a very serious, very forward type of scent, and it lasts for a very long time. It, it really goes for... 12 to 16 hours it's it's vintage it's it's strong it's well made it's it's really close to perfection and and really is a a gem of of perfumes gone by and, and unfortunately since my source sandalwood is so tough to come by i really don't think we're going to be seeing anything like this anytime soon if you really enjoy this scent as a woman or even as a man I find there are some similarities between this scent and L'Instant de Guerlain Pour Homme EDT. It has the same citrus type of start, however in the L'Instant de Guerlain the citrus is much smoother, it doesn't smell like bug spray. It has the same jasmine type of feel to it in the mid. 
And the dry down in Lonston is very similar with what they call an Indian sandalwood, which is certainly possible. It could be Sri Lankan sandalwood as well. But it, it doesn't have that same thick butteriness to the wood. But in Lonston, it's it's really as close as you're going to get in modern perfumery to, to what a Mysore sandalwood dry down is all about. Occasions to wear this, I think as a woman, if if you're a professional, you wear a suit to work, you you wear nice clothes to work, and you know you're you're in a position of authority. I think this is absolutely perfect. It's very elegant. You wear it out to a a, a nice dinner or a date. I think it's it's really intoxicating towards men. Um, I personally can't wear this. I, I I'm not comfortable wearing it. The the iris and the jasmine to me make it a feminine mid and and that mid goes on for hours and hours and hours so I, I personally can't wear it I think it smells great on my mother and it, it's certainly not an old lady scent in, in my mind I, I think it's very wearable and you can pick up bottles like this on eBay it, this is a one ounce bottle and you can pick this up for anywhere between I've, I've seen used bottles go for thirty dollars and and brand new bottles go for upwards of $70, $80, $90. So you can definitely expose yourself to a fantastic Mysore sandalwood scent that's uh, really worth its, its weight in gold. If you're a woman or a man and you've tried this one, please let me know what you think about it. I think it's, it's utterly fantastic and, and really worth trying. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.